I want to speak on an interesting topic. And I got the idea from dreaming a dream, dreaming a dream. Now, this may sound strange to people that have not experienced this, but this is, it's quite interesting. It's not frightening. It just, it woke me up this morning and I was up from about maybe four o'clock until now. I think I may have fell back to sleep for a couple of hours, but it had me thinking because the dream I had was a message for one of my family members. I actually had a message for one of my family members. I'm not going to share the entire dream. I'm just going to tell you um, a part of the dream. And then I'm going to tell you um, the thought that came to my mind, what I discovered while thinking back on that spiritual experience, because this was more than just dreaming a dream. Because while dreaming a dream, I was actually dreaming within a dream while dreaming, if that makes sense to you. I dreamt that I was asleep. And in that sleep state, it was as if I was, have you ever experienced sleep paralysis or growing up, we called it the witch ride and you wear you're not able to move. You're not able to speak. And I was in that state of being. And when I looked up, there was this huge image, this person over me. And it was as if this person was restraining me or holding me down. Um, I couldn't think clear. I couldn't speak. I couldn't move. And I knew who this person was. And while this being, which although it came in the form of someone I knew, it was no more than a demon. And this thing was holding me down and restraining me and I couldn't move. But in my mind, I was rebuking that demon. And then I forced myself to wake up in that dream. Now, keep in mind, I'm dreaming that I'm dreaming. So the internal dream, I'm going to call it the internal dream. When I forced myself out of that dream, it was as if I was stuck in a dimension of four walls. And they weren't like the normal walls like we see in our homes. Um, it was it was a space that had four walls and I was within this, within this, um, within this, within this wall or this space. And in this space, I felt so restricted that I started singing the blood of Jesus, right? So I'm singing this and I'm praising the most high and I'm clapping my hands. And I'm trying to get my mind out of that, that, that suppressing or negative state. It's hard for me to describe it. And so I did that for a while and then I finally came out of it and then I was greeted by like my mother and my sister, one of my sisters. And I was talking to them and I was asking them, did you, was I, when I was asleep, did you, was I making noise or was I singing in my sleep or because I was aware that I was in that state of being and I was singing, right? but I could not see um, real life. In other words, I was asleep, but I was still stuck in that state. Um, and they said, no, you was just asleep. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I went to this family member and told this family member the warning that I had received in that dream state. And I'm not gonna tell the rest of the dream, but the thought that came to my mind was people that is diagnosed with schizophrenia disorder or bipolar. There are these people that hallucinate, they see things, and then when their family members come in to tend to them, um, they don't recognize their family members. 
they're looking at their family members as if they are ghosts or they're afraid and their eyes are like stretched wide open and they're in complete and total terror. And the family member is trying to calm them down to let them know that, wake up, it's okay, we're here. But the person that's experiencing this can't identify or can't, don't really even know that that's their family because all they can see is these creatures or demons that's terrorizing them. And so I thought to myself when I finished talking to my family member in that dream, when I finally woke up, I'm talking really woke up, I was trying to figure out, am I still in the dream? Because when I dreamed that dream, I was actually dreaming another dream within a dream. And so coming out of one dream into another dream, it's natural to think that you had waking up. But in reality, you're still in that dream until you actually wake up again. And then you're fully aware of your conscious. You're fully conscious of what's going on around you. And all I did was just lay there in the bed and just was sitting there thinking. And I'm thinking like, wow, this is, I'm sure this is how it feels when someone is trapped in their own mind. You know, now the doctors would may medicate them, give them something to calm them down or put them in a state where um, they're still trapped. They're still being tortured or in terror, but yet there's nothing they can do because they're, they're also sedated by the medication that the doctor gives them because the doctors is thinking that it's an electrical imbalance in their brain. They're thinking that this person's got some type of mental disorder, but in reality, this person is trapped inside of layers, layer, layers of dreams. Layers, L A Y. E-R-S, right? They're trapped in layers of dreams. So this could have been a person that may have fallen asleep and end up dreaming inside of a dream and within that dream start dreaming and then within that dream started dreaming and they just got lost in their dreams. They're really not sure which dream layer layer that they're in. So instead of fully waking up to the point where they're conscious and they are aware, they're still stuck in that night terror, right? You ever dream something and then you wake up and it seems so real, you know, or you come out of a dream or nightmare and you still hear the cries of that night terror that you've experienced in that dream, especially if you were dreaming a dream within a dream, and then you dream a dream within that. So they're stuck in universe of dreams. And when they wake up from one dream, they're still within a dream. So they really don't know what is real. So then their body, although they're asleep, it's like people that sleepwalk, their body now is acting according to what they are experiencing trapped inside that layer layer of dream. I have a hard time with that word layer, L-A-Y-E-R-S, layer. They're trapped inside a layer of dreams, but yet their body, their physical body is responding. So they wake up in terror, they're in terror and their family members trying to pull them out, but their mind eye, their spirit is still stuck. And some people come out of it, and then there's people that may not come out of it. And those that come out of it, um, the psychiatry would take credit for that. They would say the medication is working. But in reality, they were able to find enough strength within themselves to wake themselves up out of the layer of dreams that they have fallen into. I've only reached maybe three or four layers of dreams. 
where you're dreaming of dreaming of dreaming of dreaming. And within each of these dream states, you are, you may have a nightmare. You may be dealing with certain entities and these entities are real. They're just not in this state. So your mind end up going to a totally different state of being. And some people, like I said, might get stuck there. And then they start acting different to their family members, started showing, uh, displaying different types of traits or characteristics that's not their own. And you have people that may come back from these layers of dreams with possessions of spirit beings that came or was able to come across dimensions into this realm through their dream state. So now I'm wondering if people can become possessed with demons or spirit beings by dreaming dreams within dreams. So one of these spirit beings would attach themselves and then come back over. And then now you, you, you have multiple personalities. Which in psychiatry, they call it multiple personality disorder. I know a young lady that have like a few personalities and her husband learned the names of each one of them and can tell when certain ones appear. He knows just by the personality or characteristic trait. But how did that those spirits or these entities enter into that person? In most cases, we think that someone might have dabbled and tampered into uh, the dark arts of witchcraft or Ouija boards or opened some type of portal. But the portal that might have been open could have just been within layers of dream states that you might have entered into because you go to sleep, you have a dream that you're actually dreaming. And within that dream, you dream that you're dreaming. And within that state, you dream that you're dreaming. And some people just get so far out, they can't come back. Or they find it difficult to come back. And maybe somewhere down the line, they may end up finding their way back. And now they're normal and can't remember what happened to them. Or may have limited memory of what happened to them or what they actually dealt with. And that may come from the medication that's being fed to them because the doctors think that they just have a, a, an imbalance in their brain. But in reality, they could have been trapped in layers, I said it, in layers of dreams. The Bible even tells us about in the last days, you know, um, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. You know, and how you should dream dreams and have visions. But you have people that can't handle those dreams and visions. They become so terrorized that they leave, they lose control of themselves. And whatever spirit being that they're dealing with within those layers of dreams, those spirit beings now find a portal to come back into this world. And that person comes back with maybe three or four personalities or more. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think that somebody can come become possessed or maybe somebody that's diagnosed with bipolar disorder or uh, schizophrenia, uh, multiple personality disorder? Do you think that, that a lot of that could have been caused by layers of dreams that someone one day went to sleep and got caught in a layer? of a dream that could not find a way back, their body is responding to what they're experiencing, but their mind is still trapped. You know, and that's why you have, in certain cases, you have people that sleepwalk. You know, they sleepwalk, have no idea what they're doing, right? So what do you guys think about that? You know, I know this is a bit far out, you know, for some people, um, it could be over some people's head, but when you really think about it after experiencing what I experienced last night 
And it was quite interesting. It was quite interesting. I mean, the whole ordeal of it was, it was so real, but yet I was within a dream, within a dream. And in this dream, one of the dreams, I was going to the bathroom. I was defecating, right? Not how you feel like you got to use the bathroom and you got to go real bad. You could barely make it. And I was defecating. I was sitting on the stool and, and then I was like urinating and it felt so good. It was really, it was a big relief. And then all of a sudden the thought came to my mind, wait a minute, this feels too good. <laughs> I mean, this feels too good. The release is like just too good. It's like just wow. And then it dawned on me, wait a minute, you're asleep. And I had to pull myself out of the sleep to keep from having a wet dream, right? So when I pulled myself out of the dream, out of that state of being, I kind of patted down there and I was good. I was good. Maybe a couple of dribbles, but I was good. I got up and went to the bathroom. But even going to the bathroom, you could, I could still hear the remnants of being in that, in that dream state, you know? And so I went back and I just laid there and, you know, until I fell asleep again for a couple of hours. But the dream state is quite interesting, man. I think it's really underestimated. And I think somebody should do research on that. Maybe um, uh, psychiatry should do research on dream states. And if people get stuck in dreams, and if that's the reason why you have people that's bipolar, um, schizophrenic or uh, whatever, you know, so what do you guys think about that? Feel, uh, comment, subscribe, uh, click on the cash app, support this channel until next time. I'm fearless.